everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Norcal Mugger, and today we're playing some Black Ops 6. Now, here we are, guys, on the Black Ops 6 beta. You can see at the top right there, we are level 20, we are max level. We've been playing it on stream. If you want to join any of the streams, be sure to subscribe because we're doing all of our streams on YouTube now. Today, we're going to be talking about the good, the bad, the ugly, all of the things that are going on in the Black Ops 6 beta. And right off the bat, this is going to be something that probably gets overlooked by so many people, right? I play on controller, everybody knows that. But it's a lot more efficient to use your keyboard and mouse in the menus sometimes, especially when building loadouts and stuff like that. Now, in previous Call of Duties, when I use my mouse in the menu, it changes you to a mouse input. Or sometimes you use it and it just bugs out and it doesn't really let you unless you're using controller. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Seamless movement. We'll click into multiplayer here. Seamless. And it works. And do you know what it doesn't do? If I go over here to controller, uh, where's the input settings? Controller input. It's such a small thing. But it's such a good quality of life. Anyway, you've probably seen everything that's going on in the beta in terms of weapons at the moment. But this is what I've been running. Obviously, I've been running the Jackal because it's broken. I mean, this thing literally is better than ARs at long range. It's actually stupid. I suspect this thing is going to get nerfed by weekend two. I know I haven't uploaded a long form video in ages, guys. And I want this to be the kind of revival we'll see. Obviously, there's going to be a bit of a gap between sort of Black Ops 6 beta and the release. Maybe I'll do some Warzone content maybe we'll jump back on mw3 who knows we'll see now lads we've got skyline kill order now i'm gonna be honest kill order not the best game mode I, it's not really for me you kind of defend a person yeah you kind of defend this guy and you get uh you get points for killing people and defending him and staying alive as him and stuff like that yeah i don't really like it the flow of it's a little bit weird but i'm um, skyline in general very good map probably my favorite map of the beta now one of the points that i was going to make in this video was that spmm has actually been okay for me for the most part there's been a couple of games where it's been a bit iffy and that 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 aiming was iffy god damn but for the most part it's been okay spmm has been all right i mean we're actually cooking right now i didn't realize i was the guy you're not that guy pal trust me i mean i've put out quite a few tweets about this game i'm loving it so far i'm gonna be honest it's taken a lot of getting used to i'm definitely not perfect at this game i wouldn't say i'm struggling with the movement i would just say Getting used to it has taken a bit of time, and I kind of had to get used to it again every time I kind of get back on for a sesh. I think quality-wise, the game looks fantastic. Like, it looks like a kind of redefined quality Cold War. This is the problem. A lot of people are playing like this, which I know is very tactical, but it does make it very hard to push out, and I've actually seen it a lot in, like, this kind of game mode, like Kill Order. I just don't think this game mode flows well, but hey, that's me. So, yeah, like I was saying, you can run forward, you can run backwards, you can run sideways, you can run right ways, you can run, sprint, and dive which is kind of cool. And I've hellstormed. Okay. Bro, everyone is using this gun. Everyone is using this weapon. It's that overpowered. It's better a distance than an AR. These helicopters, these things stay in the sky for 10 years. You get one of those, you are protected for the whole game. You know what I was saying about SPLM? Yeah, I'm getting cooked this game. I don't know what it is. First game on and that. I feel like audio has gotten worse. I don't know why. Like the first, the first day that I was playing, it was very good. Kind of feel like I heard more, but I feel like there's a lot less. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like sound cues, which is a little bit frustrating. Like when people dive, when you do this, right? Hold on. When you dive, th there's like no thud when you hit the ground, which I know a lot of people will be like, oh, that's good. But sometimes it does make it really hard for gunfights when I've had it before where people have been like behind me, for example, they've dove into the room that I'm in, but it sounds like they've ran into a room like beside me. So I've turned around to go back into that room and they're actually just behind me on the floor. And I'm like, Oh, I played one game. How did I do an update? It's not even 6 p.m. I will say the menus on this game are fantastic. Now, there's a gun that I want to try. I want to try the SWAT. I think, is it a marksman rifle? I think it's a it's a three-round burst DMR. Just for those of you that haven't seen the creator class, you get a main weapon, a pistol, and a melee weapon. So if you go into here, you can see you've got the weapons. It tells you if you've got any of the special ones. And if you hover over it, you can see them all. And it's just a lot more fluid. Also, the Mastercrafts are absolutely insane. I'm expecting some good things this year, man. But yeah, let me select this SWAT right here. Okay, we've got the SWAT. Now, this is rewind. One thing I want to mention quickly, when you go up towards it, leans you round. Originally, I didn't like it, but it's actually quite fluid. Now, let's try this thing. I've seen some clips. Apparently, it I, I always forget that you can go on top of that trailer. i got to say, last two days, the campaign has jumped up quite a bit. Oh, okay. 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 
Ooh. Ooh, mate, this is this is no attachments as well. I will say, I think the general map size of uh, kind of all of the maps is really good. I would say pacing-wise, Rewind is probably the worst. I feel like that map could do with maybe more players or a change of location for some of the points. But I think overall, it's good, man. They all seem to be fairly fast-paced, all rather competitive. One thing, which is a great example there, is spawns are a little bit chalked especially if you're playing a game mode like hardpoint it just doesn't seem to work man i'm not really too sure why i think it's got something to do with the squad spawning i'm dead i think it's got something to do with the squad spawning i think it just tries to do that but then if you've got a teammate that's just kind of beasting it out and getting clips it just screws you over like here why have i spawned here why have i not spawned with my squad i need to get my ads time up with this weapon see i've just spawned here where i've just died and there's two of them where they've spawned. Exhibit four. Also for the inspect, look, you get little things. You can do your emos mid game and then you can weapon inspect, which is just lovely. There are some cool inspects as well, by the way. This gun like needs rapid fire. I think once you get rapid fire on this, it might be absolutely beastly. I feel like this thing's going to be really good in multi, uh, Warzone, sorry, multiplayer. We're playing multiplayer, bro. Thing is, man, this gun is really good, but the Jackal is just so much better. That shit needs to get nerfed ASAP. I think they'll nerf it for weekend two. They can't, I feel like they have to. I definitely need like a, a sight on this, I think. I think I will benefit heavily from a sight on this thing. Did I get the triple there? No, I didn't. Damn it. I've got to say, guys, I'm super excited to edit this video. I hope you do enjoy it or have enjoyed it, should I say. Be sure to smash a like rating if you do want some more Black Ops 6 content. I've got some stuff. I've got some ideas cooking for when the full release is here. I don't want to give them away in the beta, so I'm going to save them for the full game release. So make sure you do subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. That also means you will not miss a live stream because we are doing everything over here on YouTube, guys. Where is my gun gone? I think that's a great place to end it. A little 1KD. Who could want any more?